I just came to the NBI, the National Bureau of Investigation uh, Release Headquarters. So here I am in front of the National Museum of Anthropology. How about I look into uh, public transportation system? Hi. Uh, she wants to order something and I'll pay for it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Part of the vlog. Are you going towards Ayala Avenue? Okay, but oh, but later? Kind of call, cool, yeah. Seriously? That's how they do it here. It's all part of the plan. Hey, hello, everybody. Uh, I just wanted to share a quick little tidbit. Uh, so I just came to the NBI, the. National Bureau of Investigation uh, release headquarters and I needed to get my release document over here and um, so basically I already filed it earlier uh, a couple of weeks ago but now I finally I just finally had an opportunity to come over here to actually pick up my release paper but the whole process of how that happened it's uh, I'm just kind of shocked right now that with the bureaucratic process that took place uh, so basically, when I uh, figured out which window I had to actually go to, which wasn't a big deal, by the way. So when I came up to the window, there was one person in front of me on the line. Uh, and then when I was already uh, at the window, I gave the receipt for the clearance paper. And then I waited for the lady to put in the document information. And maybe like five seconds, maybe ten, after I gave her the receipt, she printed this uh, release uh, document out for me. And that's it. Uh, that's the end of my <laughs> journey here at the NBI office. So uh, I've never, I could have never imagined such a quick and easy process of uh, getting an official document from a government institution like this. So yeah, that's just wanted, something that I wanted to share. So here I am in front of the National Museum of Anthropology. I'm just kind of debating right now whether or not I should go in there or not. Or should I just get home and uh, do more work on my videos? Wow. God only really knows I have a lot of work to do right now. Uh, it's probably better if I come here with somebody else so that there's something to talk about and discuss and not just, you know, glance at different uh, pieces by myself. So, um, yeah, I think I'll just probably not go there now, but maybe come back another time when I can go either with Chris or Prince and his friends or I don't know so else. Maybe Cholo. <laughs> It'll be cool either way. So, uh, that's just what this place looks like. I have been to the uh, National Museum of, of Natural History before. Uh, and that was really a cool place. I was there first with Chris and uh, her delegation, so to speak. Well, more like uh, the tour group that uh, she organized last year, uh, the Philippine Heritage Tour. Uh, and. Uh, going to that museum was part of the stop. Uh, today is actually uh, the worldwide strike uh, on uh, Climate Awareness Day. So um, I was planning to go to the University of the Philippines, UP, in Dillman by Quezon City, but uh, I, I feel really bad and guilty that I apparently am not dedicated enough to the cause that I'm really trying to champion myself. Believe me, I do feel bad about it, but we're supposed to be having thunderstorms, which means that the delays, especially around the time when I'm probably going to be heading home during rush hour, it's going to be a nightmare. Uh, and Chris is going to be worried and concerned about how I'm going to be doing, I and mean, she's a worry word. But yeah, uh, we'll just skip out on that too. So on the way home, I was uh, trying to decide what's the best way to go about it since today is a, of all days is a climate awareness day <laughs> and uh, then the idea of take car to go home uh, by myself would just seem kind of wrong so I was looking for a grab share option or take a regular grab car but then I thought wow how about I look into a public transportation system option so I realized that I'm uh, right next to the LRT railroad and that's what I'm going to be taking, at least part of the way. Oh wow, there's a lady here who's really in need of help. Uh, let me see if I can do something. Be right back. Oh, Ade. Ade, would you like food? Would you like food? Uh.
Would you like pork and shrimp shumai? No. Do you want no. pork shumai? Uh, okay. I, I can get you a shumai. Pork, uh. pork and shrimp. Would you like me to get uh, it for you? Yes? Okay. Uh. I was I was asking her if she wants food. Uh, oh, but she wants more money. Uh, ah. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get some food for this lady, but uh, she doesn't understand English. She said, I don't know what that means. Let's see, maybe we can get to the bottom of this. Alright, so I guess we uh, are looking for a different kind of menu today. She means here? Okay then. Uh, she wants to order something and I'll pay for it? Rice. Rice? Rice only rice. Only rice? Yeah. Okay, maybe she wants something on top of it? No. Maybe she wants something with the rice? I know, that one nice. Okay, okay. Uh, looks like it's gonna be 27 pesos, which, yeah, I think that's not a problem for me. Oh, I didn't expect to be uh, running into this kind of experience today. But that's just what happens when you're walking down the streets of Manila in random places. So I uh, got her to eat and I also left the change because I uh, might as well. So I wanted to help her out some way that I can because she looked like she could use it. So I feel pretty good about that. Yeah. Now back to my original plan of uh, hopping on the train.
Something involving rice, I'm sure we'll do. And what do you know, there's a place to get food. And I'm pretty sure rice is on the menu as well. Hi, I'd like uh, a piece of chicken and uh, white rice, please. Yeah. This should probably work. Yes, please, and a bottle of water. I'm not sorry, I, I don't need a bag. I don't need a bag, just just the, the container. No, no bag, no, just the container. Okay, thank you. Let's get this old man fed. Wait, here's... You're welcome. And here's a bottle of water for you, okay? Good? You're welcome. Bye. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's definitely much better to uh, give people food than to give them money. I definitely feel pretty good about that one. Oh wait, I can't. You gotta be kidding me. I can't pause here. Let me see if I can do that. Oh. We went somewhere else to eat, that's good. I'm sure it wasn't very comfortable to eat there. Glad I can make a difference. All the way over there, just across the street. That's that's really annoying, I have to say. Hi, Nicole. All right, this is the cross street. Not really a cross street, but not even an intersection. Wow. Well, this is the only way I'm getting across, anyway. Yeah, that's how they do it here. Oh, I survived. I survived crossing Bandia Street. Otherwise known as Gupia. Taina Kuya. Seriously? That's how they do it here. What can you do? As a great man who happens to have been a great comedian once said, it's all part of the plan. That's just how it goes. Now I have a feeling I can grab one of these jippies to take me most of the rest of the way home. But this one looks full, so. I'm not getting this one. This one just looks really decrepit. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, excuse me, are you going towards Ayala Avenue? Okay, but, oh, but later? Yeah, it's just what? Yes, so it's just straight this way. Thank you. Do, does one of these, does one of these jippies go there? This? Yeah, just stay there and then tell us. 
Okay. Thank you. All right, he didn't answer my question about which jeepney I can take, but okay. And on we go. I wonder what translucent uh, yellow liquid that man was just spilling out on the street in the gutter. Makes you wonder, huh? So apparently none of the jeepneys here uh, go towards my area, towards Ayala Avenue. So I'm going to have to find a bus. And uh, I'm not sure if this, this bus will take me or another bus because I don't, really, I don't really know which bus lane to take. So I have an option of either walking 2.2 kilometers, which isn't too bad. Uh, except that it's starting to rain. Or I can find uh, a taxi, which is a surefire way. And I've been already approached by several that wanted to pick me up. Or, I don't know, but I need to uh, get a solution out of this. I'm thinking maybe I might just have to give up and get a grab, grab a grab. So, well, looks like my plans have changed one more time. I uh, was expecting to hopefully get either um, a jeepney uh, or a bus, but neither option worked out because in order to get the bus, I had to actually go back to the bus depot where I was apparently walking away from for some time. And there are no jeepneys that are going in my direction. Uh, plus it also started raining pretty heavily. Now I do have an umbrella with me, but the shoes that I'm wearing today, um, I would rather not get them soaked too much. Um, so I uh, gave up on my quest to, to get you know, uh, some other form of transportation besides a, a private vehicle, but I failed. A little guilty about that, but what can you do? I'll, I'll make up for it by uh, taking my electric scooter everywhere. <laughs> All right, so uh, back home now already with the grab car. Koya Eric here. Hi, sir. Right. Have a nice day, sir. Thank you. And I'm home. Hey, thank you. All right, so my ride was not quite as expected, but here I am anyway. Back home and uh, on to do some uh, video editing. Well, this is uh, going to be pretty much the end of my vlog for today. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you did, please click the like button. And as always, if you want to continue getting more of my videos come up, then please uh, subscribe to my channel. And then you will be getting more cool and fun videos from the Time Lapse Traveler.